To this particular case, I do believe that the defense effectively and appropriately presented to the jury the provocation and mitigation that existed in this case on behalf of Ms. Jenks. I do believe that the jury was appropriately instructed and considered the provocation. I think they considered the mitigation. And I think that the jury ultimately determined that it didn't justify Ms. Jenks' actions. And therefore, they found her guilty of first-degree murder, and I do believe that the evidence supported their conclusion. In this particular case, she is presumptively ineligible for probation pursuant to Penal Code Section 1203E3. I don't believe there are any unusual circumstances which would be appropriate for a grant of probation. Even if she were eligible for probation, I believe under Rule 4.414B2 that her prior performance was unsatisfactory and probation would not be appropriate in this case. Therefore, probation will be denied. She will be committed to the Department of Corrections for the term of the rest of her life in prison with a minimum eligibility of parole date for 25 years from now. So in essence, 25 years to life. She will receive credits of 131 actual, zero good time credits pursuant to Penal Code Section 2933.2 for a total of 131 days credit. She is ordered to pay a restitution fine in the amount of $300, an additional restitution fine in the amount of $300 to be stayed and remain so unless her post-release supervision is revoked. I will strike the court security fee, the ICNA fee. I will order that restitution be paid to the family in an amount to be determined at a later date by the court. I will also order that the Victim's Compensation Program be paid an amount of $2,690.40 pursuant to claim ending 924. All other claims will be reserved as well. Does she wish to waive her presence, Mr. Carlos, if there is a future request? Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. We'll indicate the 977 waiver. She is to submit to DNA testing pursuant to Penal Code Section 296. All fines, fees, and restitution to be paid forthwith or as provided in Penal Code Section 2085.5. 